What does human flesh taste like? Well, based on the testimonies of some convicted modern-day cannibals, we have a small idea. Some of these man-eaters have compared the taste and texture to pork, or veal, or even chicken. Now, we might not all agree on what human flesh tastes like, but one researcher wanted to at least find out if we have any nutritional value. By examining bite and stone tool marks on ancient bones, archaeologists have determined that some of our ancestors were cannibalistic at times. We don't really know how prevalent cannibalism was or why some might have practiced it, but the new study has shown that those who did eat people probably weren't doing it for sustenance. Because it turns out, eating human isn't that good for you, at least compared to other food options. To get to this conclusion, one archaeologist looked to previous studies of the protein and fat content of four adult men, plus the weight of body parts, to calculate out our caloric value. This new calculation found that the modern man may have a nutritional value of about 143,771 calories. He also broke it down further by body part, with adipose tissue, or body fat, with the highest number of calories, and the teeth with the lowest. But remember, this is taking weight into account, so you'd actually get more calories by eating a kilogram of teeth than you would a kilogram of lungs or spleen. Now, one note to make is these numbers are based off modern man and not ancient man, and are specific to adult males, not women or children. So obviously, it's not the complete picture. But based on these numbers, it wouldn't be a smart choice as an early human to try to live off of humans. Looking at muscle tissues, animals around at the time, like mammoths, woolly rhinos, red deer, bears, horses, boars, reindeer, and even ibex, would offer more calories than another early human man. So then why did they eat each other? Well, some think it was a wartime or religious ritual. It may have been opportunistic, easier to eat someone who died in your group than to go out and hunt. But according to this study, it sounds like early cannibalism was more cultural and social than it was nutritional.